iceberg four times the size of Manhattan breaks away from Antarctic Glacier. An iceberg four times the size of Manhattan has broken off from an Antarctic Glacier, scientists have said. Iceberg four times the size of Manhattan breaks away from Pine Island. The Pine Island Glacier, one of the largest in West Antarctica, has produced a new mass of ice over 100 kilometers in size. The loss is the second time in two years that a huge chunk of ice has been separated from the main body. Pine Island Glacier has an area of 175,000 square kilometers and loses about 45 billion tons of ice each year. As it loses so much ice, scientists have been keeping an eye on it and over the weekend noticed that a piece of ice 266.7 square kilometers in size had been carved off. The island of Manhattan is 59 square kilometers. Pine Island Glacier is Carving Away Stafler Mitt, a satellite observation specialist at Delft University of Technology, who has been monitoring the glacier, said, it's the fifth large carving event since 2000. This one and 2015, they were much further inland than the previous ones. So there has been a retreat of the carving front, specifically between 2011 and 2015. This is likely not to be the end of it either. Antarctica, the southernmost continent in sight of the South Pole. Most cruises to the continent visit the Antarctic Peninsula, which stretches toward South America where you will find Port Lockroy, a former British research station turned museum. Icebergs in Antarctica Icebergs in the sea are growing in size Iceberg along the Antarctic Peninsula The Barn Glacier on Ross Island in the McMurdoch Sound region of the Ross Sea. Ohio State Glaciologist Ian Howard said that a series of smaller cracks have been noticed in the Pine Island Glacier which could lead to more cracks in the future. He told the Washington Post. A series of thin cracks was visible in the center of the ice shelf about 3 km inland of the current break in March 2017. We don't have any more recent data to see what its status is. But this means that we would expect another carving event very soon. Climate change has been blamed for the thinning of the Pine Island Glacier as warmer waters chip away at the ice. Scientists now fear that the damage may be irreversible, and as such will continue to monitor the situation. Knut Christiansen, a glaciologist at the University of Washington in Seattle, said, The persistence and net effect of this shift in carving behavior has yet to be determined as it has only occurred during the past two years, but it clearly merits continued observation.